Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Bloodborne. We are still in Hunter's Dream. Haven't done anything since the last recording, which ended about 45 seconds ago. So I didn't really have much time to do anything. But I think we'll kind of do... We're going to try like a one-off episode. I have no idea how this is going to go because I know nothing about it. But we're going to try to see about getting into a Chalice Dungeon. We're not going to focus on creating right now because I, that might be a much more in-depth process. But let's see if we can find one to try and uh, see how it goes. Do I want to search by... Let's just do a regular search and see how that works. Chalice type. A standard chalice or a root chalice. We'll do standard, I guess. Area. Thumeru, Hintertomb, Loran, is Gravestone. Oh, we'll do Thumeru because that's the chalice we found and it's the only word we recognize. Depth. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's just do a one. An additional right. No additional right. Selected search criteria are not yet unlocked. Can I... No? Oh, begin search. Could not find. Oh, no. So maybe we can't actually do one yet, even though we've unlocked it? What about by a glyph? No, that must be the name. Um, can I do a root, chal a root chalice? No. Oh. Hey guys, Blue Lizard Jello, we're going to give up on the previous plan, and we're going to go back to, I think, Old Yar... No, not Old Yarnum. We want to go to... Cathedral Ward. And we're going to go back there, because there was another path for us to take, and right now, that's the only other place I know of that's unlocked. So, I'll see you guys in the Cathedral. So, the last time we were here, we went this way... And this is what led to... Oh, there's another path up there, though. This is what led to Old Yarnum. But it looks like we can go up and to the right. So that is where we will check out now. Nope, I was trying to go for backstab. Because I'm really starting to like them, but... That'll work as well. Something big. Something very big. And an item, more important. Bloodstone shards, great. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to sneak past this guy. There's a lever right in front of him. Uh, okay, let's see what kind of uh, damage this guy is going to do. Eh, not too much health, so that's good. Oh, I already missed, okay. Come on, give me something to work with. Okay, but he when he hits you, he actually does a considerable amount of damage, which, you know, I would expect, given his size. And I gave up swinging because I thought he was dead. Ooh, now he is. Someone, someone actually let me know that if you actually keep hitting an enemy as they're dying, as they're actually falling to the ground, you can actually continue regaining your health. Which is pretty awesome. Alright. Can I go through here? Only a special emblem opens main gate. Alright. So I need an emblem to get through there. I guess we'll find that later. No big deal. Let's head down this way. Now there's... Lever here, is that... No, this is just gonna shut this gate. Now why... Why would I want that? Is there something that's going to like come charging down or charging up at me? And it looks like I can, I can do it from either side, but the usefulness of that remains to be seen. Okay, big guy with a giant club on the right, brick guy in front of me, and one, two, three crows. Alright, good. Got one attention. I'm going to go for the backstab on this one. It's going to be great. Come on, do your thing. Alright, I missed from behind. Try now. There it is. And a visceral attack. That's beautiful. I am going to try and start using the... Wow, four blood vials. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm going to start using or trying to use the correct terminology. Because as similar as this is to the Souls games, I do want to distinguish it. And if I keep using words like Homeward Bone and uh, backstabs, critical attacks, and all that, then I'm still going to be comparing it to Dark Souls, possibly unfairly. 
because this is its own game. It has a lot of similarities mechanic-wise, but I do want to treat this like Bloodborne and not, you know, Blood Souls or Project Beast or anything like that. All right, clear. Anything here? No. Look at this city, man. It's huge. Also, there is at least a partial day-night cycle. I don't know if I stand here and watch the sun, it'll actually go down. But if I'm, if I'm not crazy, I think it is setting, which is pretty great. So let's take a look. Let's get our, get our bearing. Okay, so that bridge is the one that has the rolling flame ball, which means that the sewer area is straight ahead. So central Yarnum, like over there, I believe. Well, maybe it was over there. Not sure. I have to get better with the geography of this place. Monocular. Okay. Is this what I think it is? Has it returned? It has. And can I zoom in? Nope, but I can recharge my bullets. It's not really much of a zoom. It never is in the Souls game. Although that's a pretty great shot right there. But if you're looking to scope out some lore up close, like some of the statues and stuff, maybe some inscriptions, there's your monocular. Moving on. Item there with a crow guarding it. No big deal. And another enemy straight ahead. Some more shards. I need twins though, and I don't know where or when I'm going to start finding twins. This guy has a massive, massive weapon. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, so he's... Oh, there's one of those blood shard things. Well, he's going to get away. I'm not going to risk it. I don't know. Ready? Charge attack. Another. Yeah, he's going to hurt if he hits me. Um... I'm making no mistake about that. But, if I can just kill him... Not too bad. Alright. He didn't get more than one attack off, so that's good. Another bloodstone shard. Five more, holy cow. And whatever that guy would have dropped. That would have been... That would have been nice to have. Oh, descending down. I, You know, I never like going down. If given the option, I will go up every time. So a lot of burning stuff here. What did I see? A note? Rolling is effective. <laughs> I, yeah? You aren't kidding. Rolling is effective. Are there any items hidden? Sure doesn't look like it. What's this? Just a fake window? Note up here? No mercy for the dead. Oh. There's a sconce on the wall. I can't light that, can I? Oh, no, that would be really cool. That would be a nice touch. Free chest, really? Well, there's a door here. Let's check the door. Closed. And are you a Mimic? I still have no idea if there's Mimics in here. It's been suggested that there are, and apparently someone believes they saw it in Peeve's stream. Tempering Blood Gemstone. Ah, uh, was that really worth it? But they weren't sure if they actually saw it or if they were dreaming it. So, fair enough. We're going to be attacking chests. So nothing else in this area. All right. Then I guess we head back to the cathedral and we take that other path since we can't actually go anywhere else at this time. At least not that I can tell. So some of you have been posting some game mechanics and some hints and stuff like that, and those are all fine. The only thing that I ask is that you don't post any spoilers that are up and coming. If I missed something, like uh, Elfe had pointed out that I missed the music box, which I did later find on another character, which, by the way, is really, really cool, and if you want me to tell you what it does, let me know and I will. Wait, which way do I want to go? Eh, not this way. Um, but otherwise, it's, see, if you have the game, figure it out for yourself, because it's a really, really cool item. Um, 
but other than that, I will I will let you guys know if you need it. But anyway, if I miss something, or like if I miss an item, a chest, if I go the wrong way, or I missed a path, let me know. That is absolutely fine, and I will backtrack if needed to go do that. Alright. I've already fought this guy before. Alright, that was silly. But let's get my health back. Another thing that Victor had mentioned is that I really need to focus more on the regain system. And I absolutely am going to try and put forth that effort. So in other words, instead of always just letting... Wow, sir, who are you? Okay, you don't look too bad. Maybe I can get a backstab on you. Let's go for that. Okay, so you have a dome of electricity, it looks like. Alright, no backstab, but a good hit. A lot of health. Ooh! That damage, though. That damage. Alright, and I got a crow and another guy coming, so we're gonna back up and reset this. I don't want to fight... I don't know what that is. That soul suck. Alright. I can't fight them all together, so... Divide and conquer if we can. Divide and conquer, guys. That means you... Oh, jeez. Separate. <laughs> you guys don't want to come in the cathedral? Come on, this is sacred land. Well, you have no qualms. Alright, how about... Oh, hey! I didn't actually anticipate getting a visceral attack on that one. I was actually just trying to do a little bit of damage to you. Alright, now let's go for the backstab. Give me something to work with. That would have been a perfect one. The sack. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want anything to do with that that bubble. Oh, nope. That kick. I can't believe how much health that takes. I mean, I am right near the lantern, so I'm not too, too concerned with dying. Whoa, okay. I should be, though. <laughs> I really should be. got mad. I don't care. I really... I feel like a backstab. Nope. Nope. No? Really? Okay, I guess I was kind of to his side. Whoa, what? Remember that time I said I was gonna focus on the regain system and I haven't? Wow. Wow. Guy's getting angry. I am too. Oh, you jerk. There it is. Well, she's just about dead, and I get a visceral attack. Wonderful. Bloodstone shard. A pair of those. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now, he just jump attacked me from back here. Whoa, scared me, dude. I thought I'd been back here. I did, because I got that item. So he actually came at a later time. But I haven't been up here. And I don't actually even know how much progress I'm going to be able to make, considering there's a giant gate. Hey, you. Ready? <laughs> Starting to get that timing down. It feels really, really good. Wooden shield. So... Alright, I knew that there were shields in the game, but I've also heard that they're not very effective. Remember shield. Well, I just got it. So let's see if it has any interesting lore. A crude wooden shield used by the mass who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, which I probably won't be, ineffectual against the strength of the beast as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. In other words, if you rely on a shield, you will die. If you don't rely on a shield, you will also die. Close by device. Okay. Well, now I'm kind of at a loss here. I don't know that I have any other place I can currently get to. I had that big door that was locked by an emblem, or I needed an emblem to unlock it. Should I go back? Hmm. Oh, hey, what's this? 
This wasn't open before. This is new. Okay. And we have an elevator. Despicable message. Hidden pathway to head. Treasure way to head. Well, that's enough for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. What do we okay, there is a treasure. And we got another Gatling gun guy. This time he is confined to a wheelchair. Let me see if I can get him to fire again. Do your thing, pal. And as soon as you have to reload, you're mine. Stinks to be you. Sorry about that. Alright, we have a treasure. Not a mimic. And, you know, I say that, and yet I'm only assuming that that's how the mimics work, if they're even in this game, because what if what if they don't actually aggro if you try to attack them? Communion. What is communion? Doesn't seem to be in consumables. Not there. Is it a gemstone? No. Okay, it is a carol rune. Communion rune, higher blood vial maximum. A secret symbol left by Carol, a runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. Okay, so I can carry more blood vials if I use this. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. Alright, can I use it? Sure can. not So I either need to find some sort of like workshop key or something that will allow me to put that in either as... I don't know if it's um, like an item in, or a weapon enchantment. All right, we have an enemy there. We have an enemy in a wheelchair there, and an enemy there. Oh, oh, okay. And the one in the wheelchair decided that I was good cannon fodder. I don't blame him. Kind of am. Hey, let's go. All right, you're now taking four hits. So we're getting ooh. Tempting. We're just gonna charge through. Ready, go. Okay. The he oh, we're in the healing church workshop. This is actually where the blood purification actually began. Very cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I don't want to fall either, though. Oh! <laughs> I got him before he fell. And I got twin bloodstone shards. That is the next material I need to start upgrading my cane further. Very, very important. Alright. Now, there's a way to go in, but I can also continue around. But let's... We have a guy with a shield and a torch. Two more hunters there. And he's guarding a chest. And, oh, wow. All right, one, two more. To ooh, total of five, but this guy's already aggroed, so that's good. Come on, pal. Come on out. All right, one down. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get, get some attention. Sure enough, we can. I need you out here, though. Okay, down to three. Right, just three, right? No one over there, okay. But you have a gun, so you're actually not going to come after me. Which means what I want to do is... I'll probably actually turn that hand lantern on, but let's get Pebble equipped. Oh, I just turned it off. I didn't realize it was on. My bad. Hey, you. Look, it's me. You just swatted out a pebble. Moron. Come on. Ah, see, I did get a little bit of health after he had already gone down. And I want to pull this guy as well. Come on, this way. I don't want to get into the... Oh! I don't want to get into the rifleman's aims. 
All right, now I can go take the rifle guy out pretty easily. Very nice. Some more bullets and presumably not a mimic. Blood tinge gemstone level two. I believe blood tinge is for the gun. So that may or may not be higher than the one that I've already uh, got equipped. All right, what do we have? One hunter there. Okay, Gatling gun in a wheelchair. He's going to have to reload now. So we're going to go for him. And then... Oh, oh, I thought you were dead. Getting that regain. Feels good. All right, I saw that guy outside. I'm no fool. Because I think the ones that were above the walkway are still still out there. Yeah, they are. there. I can see the wheelchair. I can see the gunman. But let's... Oh. All right, at least... Hey, remember remember that time that I forgot he was there? Slash didn't know it at all? That was now. All right, healing. Double heal. It's just a brick guy, so he's not a huge threat. Especially when I can get a visceral. And visceral it is. I am just coated in his blood. And I am not complaining. Now, the other guy fell, and I don't know that he actually died. Did he? I guess he did. Thick cold blood. It looks like that's level 6, so that's good high cold blood. Ladder to go up. And what else? Or is that it? Alright, looks like we just did a quick loop. Alright, let's climb up. Time to be careful. What do we got? The sky and the cosmos are one. Yeah, well, I also just heard a monster. Beware of firearm. Okay, guy straight ahead in a wheelchair. Two wheelchairs. Nothing else over here unless... Nope. All right, let's get to this side. Try to do the same. There's a chest in there. I can't see too far, so we're going to have to probably run in and see what... See what's around. I thought I just heard footsteps. Another thick cold blood. And run past. Can I go this way? I can. Anything over here? No. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, geez. This. The only thing I can think of is charge the one on the right and get behind him. There is a hunter over there. Can I get him? I don't think I can lock on to anyone from this distance. I can't. All right, I am just going to have to go for this one. And you actually didn't do anything. Oh, jeez. Oh, you have a flamethrower. I mean, that would probably be effective. What are you wearing? A gas mask that looks like a bird? Both of you are. Can I get that? I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind having a gas mask that looks like a bird. I wouldn't say it's a lifelong pursuit, but I mean, if you got it, flaunt it, right? Radiant Sword Hunter Badge, a new badge, which means that additional items are opened up in the shop. Where's that badge? Where did they go? Right here. So this is a Radiant Sword Hunter's badge for Ludwig's successors. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. This Ludwig guy, man, he's got, he's got all the sweet loot. Let me guess, rolling is effective. Locked. Ugh, bummer. Okay. Back down. So we're going to head back down to where we saw the... Uh, what do I want to call them? The, the Bloodshard Beast, I guess? The ones that are similar to Crystal Lizards? The ladder's this way. And it looked like where he was about to fall, 
maybe there's a way down? So we're going to go check that out and see if maybe... Ooh, careful. See if that's actually somewhere that I can drop or... Uh... Hey, I don't know how I missed you. You're actually the guy that I hit once before because you just died in a single hit. How did you survive? I don't know how you actually landed on that floor. Alright, so that's where I came from. So that's where the beast was over there. See, I see he landed right there. That looks safe. In fact, if I walk right here... Alright, new area. Don't think I'm making that drop, and that's okay. That's more than okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, this is, uh... I'm just gonna say it. This is like Majula Pit. <laughs> um, we have an item over there on the right, an item directly below. What else do we have? Some ropes. There's a platform down there on the right. Actually, is that... Alright, we can drop down once, because I don't think there's anything up here. There's a door there. There's a door there. How do I get to it? I can go onto that platform, and then jump maybe? But that's a long fall. That's a very, very long fall. But I want that item. How do I get that item? Looks like maybe drop onto this platform here. Yeah? Okay. Anything else hidden? See, I think I could make that jump, honestly, but it's just so far. I need to get to that platform. Which I think the only way is going to be to drop from up top, and that's really, really far down. Alright, very careful. Look down. Okay. I'm at the end, and then just slowly... Oh, please. Good. Messenger top hat. Is this another play dress up with your messengers? It is. Hat that the messengers are oddly fond of. A nice top hat rounds out any Yarman gentleman. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? Well, I'm all for that. I just don't know how to actually go about it. Where's that other item? Right there. Oh, that door. I Oh, you know what? Actually, can I jump from here? I might be able to jump from here, but it's either the item or jump. It's either item or jump. Let's let's get the item. We can always loop back around. Madman's knowledge. Well, don't still don't know exactly what the purpose is, so now how do I get down from here though? I mean, alright, there's a platform there. That drop is really, really far. And is there anything to jump? Uh, actually, if I walk straight, it's hard to see, but I think if I walk straight, I'll land on this platform. <sighs> okay, some damage. Some damage. There's a beast there. Looks like a werewolf. And I can either roll to that platform, or I can roll into those boxes. Let's go to this platform. A little bit of damage, not much. And then I can just walk down. Alright, he hasn't noticed me. Maybe I can actually sneak up on him. Just watch that door not be open. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, I do have the hunter's mark, so I can... I can't even target him yet. Time for thrust attacks. Hey, that's what I was planning on. So you read my mind. Ha <laughs> ha! You can sneak up on him. He's not quite dead, though. But he is now. You're... Oh, hey! Beast! You're a little bit bigger than a normal werewolf. What do we have here? It's another Carol rune, it looks like. Boost effect of temporary transformation. A secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of Bergenworth. I probably don't need to read that every time. A transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast, the bearer of the beast rune, has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as 
as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. Okay, we'll probably figure out what that means someday. So now we're in like the depths of Yarnum. Hey, who lives here? A night of curses. A night to remember. A walk to remember. Hmm, enthralling. Thank you for that bit of information. I tend to go off the beaten path when presented with the opportunity to do so. So we have an item. And we have a crow. Not fooling anyone, crow. Or two crows. Rumpled Yarnum hat and sweaty clothes. I'm into it. Terrible defenses, although better fire defense than what I'm currently wearing, which is interesting. Well worn and losing its shape. That, that gave me a lot of lore. Hey look, that's well worn and damp with sweat. Oh, doggy. Oh, it's one of those big sack wielding guys. I hate them. So let's just Oop, something's over there on the right. What do we have? Just a couple of hunters. And over here, an elevator. Alright, elevator can wait. Let's deal with these chumps. And if we can, one at a time. Come on. Oh. Alright, they're actually still normal normal enemies, but they have they have some different armor. What are they wearing on their heads? I'm trying to flip them over. Well, something almost like made of grass. Another dog. Two more hunters. Alright, pup. Oh, crud. I killed the dog, but Hunter came along with him. No big deal. Okay, you're dead. As are you. Slowly and methodically. That's how we'll take on this area. Let's go straight. There's an item. Well, there's also something guarding the item. Okay, I can target, so it's not an NPC. Can we... What do we got? Thrust attack is effective. Alright, so can we sneak up and get a thrust? Ooh, wow. Thrust attack is very effective. Easy peasy. Thank you for the note. Fireblood gemstone. I'll take it. That door does nothing. Shaman waits ahead. You're a shaman? You're like a Cthulhu head. Ew. Very reminiscent of the Shrieker enemies in um, Tower of Latria, Demon Souls. Just being, making, you know, observations. I'm not saying they're the same game. Relax. Item over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's coming. Oh, what's this guy? Ay, ay, ay. Alright. We have to go for the backstab. That's what I've learned. Didn't get it. Back up. Again, we really would love that slow overhead sack attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably could have done it then too, but. He definitely gets faster. Oh, nope. Oh, that was a swift death. Why am I not 
getting just my normal awakening at the last lantern. Did I not die? Oh, I'm in a cell? Duke's archives, everyone. Look at that top hat, though. That looks good. Well, I lost my souls. <clears throat> Excuse me, my blood echoes. So I, I did die. I missed the name of this area, though. I'll have to look at it. Well, whenever I find a lantern, I guess. So you put me in a jail cell and you didn't even you didn't even bother to uh lock it. That's kind of a waste. Interesting little contraption. Some thick cold blood, here's a message. Developer message. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. Alright. Will do. Alright, let's not go down yet. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. What do we have here? Some sort of crazy torture device? Ominous. Yeah, Alright, looks like that might... Oh, nope, that's not it. Alright, to go down or to start going up? Guess let's go up. Oh, jeez. Now to continue going up. Or to go straight that way. There's one of the sack guys. There's an item in the middle. Alright, something's up there on the right. Ah, oh, it's another one of them. I have two? I couldn't even deal with one earlier. And now you just don't care, huh? Can I maybe... I don't want to aggro both. And I already have, apparently. I can keep going up. Alright. Hasty retreat. Hasty retreat didn't go very far, but... Oh, hey, there's a note here. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. That sounds terrible. You want me to kill a baby? Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing Okay, well... Wow, what is this? Is this like an example of the boss? Very well might be. Look at that head. It's like pumpkin head. But, the good news is, I found a lantern. Now, I do have about 20,000 souls down in that lower place, so I think I want to go take care of that. Uh, what I'm going to do is, given the time, it's probably time to actually wrap the video up, so I'm going to end it here. I am going to offline go back into that underworld and collect my souls. Once I have my souls, then I will start recording again in the next episode to finish exploring that underground area. This, I don't feel like dealing with this. I don't know even why I'm here. Actually, before I close, can I even leave? I can. All right. So, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully down in that lower city with my echoes intact.